It's that time again. Time for this week's Judge Mathis Throwback. And stay tuned for the special return of the litigants from today's Throwback Case. Leslie Sonka divorced her husband of 22 years, claiming he destroyed their family with his drinking, drugs, and an affair with a prison inmate. And to add insult to injury, he refuses to pay the spousal support he's been court-ordered to give her. William Sonka says Leslie is just bitter because he's happily remarried. He feels she should pay him for defaming his name, getting he and his new wife fired, and for vandalizing their home before she moved out. Prove your case, ma'am, you first. Judge Mathis, uh, Mr. Saka here, he is a no good, deadbeat, abusive, cheating, alcoholic. Your Honor, uh, that is an absolute lie. I have, I was living with him, married to him for 22 years. Um, he and she married me twice, Your Honor. She divorced me in 1990, remarried me a month and a half later, bought your me Honor, rings I again, have, Your Honor. I have. I'm wearing one right now. In 1990, Your Honor, he started having an affair with uh, E-4 enlisted while he was an E-7 in the United States Army. He has no physical I evidence. Have, sir. Go ahead. So anyways, um, as far as the alcoholism, yes, he does drink. Um, it was always there. It's always been present in 1990 when he had his first affair. And I do have the paperwork. And I even have a picture uh, and letters from the girl he had an affair with. Um, we had lived... What do they say? I'm just curious about them letters. Well... <laughs> Let me see that. Maybe we got a little One something One of the letters there. from the girl here... Uh, Does he know her? Let me accused, ask him if he knows her first. He may not even know this woman picture, you're accusing him of. Uh, do you know a woman named... What's her name, sweetie? Her name is Angela. I have her picture. You know this woman? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Now, did you date this woman or not? She's a cutie pie here. Yes, Your Honor, I did. So he admits yes, to it, ma'am. You don't have to prove that. And it's stated in his paperwork to the Army, just a daddy figure. When she found out that he was going to be paying me back at that time, child support, oh, she was most much of younger his money. Than him? She looked yeah. much younger than Your him. Honor, every woman wants a daddy figure. So anyway... <laughs> he's only... Including this woman. <laughs> he's only four years older than me. We only knew each other 30 days. We were both in the Army. We only knew each other 30, less than 30 days when we got married in 1979. You knew him less than 30 days before marrying Where We were gotcha. both in the Army. All right. But so what happened? Why couldn't you all work it out when he came back and you all remarried? He didn't run off with another woman, though, did he? Uh, he had an affair with an inmate in the ooh, prison. Ooh, that's low down. I have her picture, Your Honor. too. Let me see. Plus, I have his resignation the next day given to them. You like young black girls, huh? <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I do. Your Honor, this woman here, she cares so much about me that she actually turned me in. Yes. You know why? That woman there kept calling him up, and he also had phone cards whenever he'd take a so beer run. So he lost his job as he a result yeah, of this? I, yeah. As we, no, Your Honor, as a result First of this woman. First he lost his marriage for one young yep. thing. Then the next young thing, he loses his job over. Your, the same your thing. Honor. Have you had adultery, enough yet? Adultery, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. The day I found out about this, I found a receipt from the dollar store. He bought her panties, a t-shirt, shorts, two strawberry candles, and some Boss Cologne. C a current inmate at that he time? Was Your Honor, that is not true. Time. Yeah, he, in Your fact, Honor? I think that day he went to go meet her while she was getting released. Yes. So you bought all these, you brought her some fresh, she, yes. fresh underwear for her release. Yes, she was, <laughs> Your Honor, what she is saying is not true. The woman was not an inmate. She was released out of the state jail she was a free and clear civilian. Your Honor, this shrew defamed my character, vandalized my home. My home, ruined my I own personal. home, too. That's your counterclaim, sir. Yeah. Defend yourself against what she's alleging. And we haven't even got to the spousal support. Obviously, he hasn't paid what he was ordered. Nothing, You have your, your order today? Yes, it's in Let my divorce decree. He hasn't paid me one red dime. And it's been 12 months. Exactly. So that's where you get 3000 Exactly. For. Go ahead, sir. Tell me what you want me to know about this. This route defamed my character, Your Honor. How, sir? By calling your employer? Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but slanderous emails. What emails did she send, sir? Your Honor, she sent over 70 emails to my corporate account, and over 20 of which were directly to the supervisor, my, su my boss's Say boss. Saying what, sir? That I was an alcoholic, yep. that I stole money, yep. that I stole had affairs. Money from where? Yep. Trady cash. From where? From the petty cash fund. He stole from a restaurant when he was working, um, before he started working for uh, a Meals on Wheels where he was living. 
um, the night before my mom did pass away, he come crying back up to our house. He needed $500 because they found some food items in the back of his car. Sir, is that what she alleged to he your does, employer? He's a thief. Quiet, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. All right, well, then it's not defamation because the number one <laughs> defense to defamation is truth. So she yes, reported something that was true. It was low down, quite frankly, ma'am, yes, for you to send something to his employer and jeopardize your own spousal support, jeopardize your own children's child support by getting him fired yes, over sir. something he did years ago. Wait, that I was very short-sighted and very low down, I must tell you, ma'am. Now you're here suing for spousal support, wondering why you can't get paid because you got him fired. He's your, your honor. Whatever, ma'am. That's all. That's a Enough. I don't need to hear any more from you, ma'am. You, I don't need to hear another word. You want your judgment? 3,000. Spousal support. Now Thank I'm going to turn to him and see if he Thank gets you. a judgment, all right? Now, what is this about vandalizing the home? Yes, Your Honor. Um, the house is word to me. When I moved back into my home with my wife, my new wife, that house is just damaged. Everything that was personal and dear to me has been either destroyed what do you have evidence to show that? Yes, Your Honor, I have photographs. Everything that was near and dear to me destroyed or vandalized with a pickaxe. And as you can see, Your Honor, the pickaxe is still in that cabinet I built for my memento. Did you do this, ma'am? No. You have any evidence other than these pictures that it occurred before she moved out? Yes, Your Honor. I have a witness who actually took the photographs that depicted in there. Where's your witness? It's my wife, Caroline. Your Honor, my house was locked up. The court decree said she had to turn over the house, the keys, the paperwork, the deed. I called the police out. I had to break into the house to get in. The house was locked up, and I found it in the condition it was in the day I was authorized to move back. What do you want to say, ma'am? State your name. Your Honor, my name is Carolyn. And what Salter. do you want me to know? I am the one that took those pictures okay. because the day that we went to clean the house up, mm -hmm. that's the condition that we found it in. Very good. Thank you. I have a videotape of the when we had left. Let's see the tape. This it's is us tape. loading up. Um, mm -hmm. We had to pull the TV back out because we didn't know what was going on. The World Trade Tower. That powers. is not my beer kick, Quiet, Your Honor. Sir. No, that is that was my son, our son's. Um, that's the working part of the garage. There, those tables were left. Um, the dust is out still. I mean, there's nothing done. That's the front entrance, uh, the back entrance to the house. There is no. That's where the CDs and the cassettes were hanging. No holes in the yes, Your Honor. Yeah, because he ripped them off when he pulled off the CDs. There's a ceiling fan that needs to be put up still. There's no holes in our walls or anything like that there. That house was left in good shape. Uh, there, that's a filing cabinet. He did not... There's another oh, hole those holes are from the um, State Farm. We had a leak in the slab. The graffiti. That's the holes. How about that? Yeah, that says I came, I'm sorry, I'm taking her home. My it's sister vandalism, did that. Sir. Hold on. That's that's the chilling room. He built that room. That there has been like that since we got married. Ma'am, 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 What? Just saw a bunch of vandalism. No, that's not. And that a bunch is, of holes in the wall. That is where the CDs and the cassettes were hanging. He the ripped, vandalism. Those. I, I've seen enough. The graffiti on the wall. Man. That's a chilling room. We had kids. What's the difference between the kids hanging around in that garage? Because he made it for his sound room. Your Honor, I need to address this. For his music and stuff. This is clearly vandalism by you. I didn't do it. Yes, you did. She wrote. I don't want to hear from her. I've seen all the evidence I, I need to see. I didn't do it. You did. I own the you house did. with him still. Just like you called his employer to try and get him fired from his job. Several you vandalized times. the house before turning it over to him. $2,000 is your judgment, right. sir. Have a good day. Thank you. Ah. Um, once a cheater, always a cheetah. And I just had to laugh when he walked in. He's, I don't know just too predictable. Despite all my faults, this woman stayed with me, not because of love, but because she wanted the money. And now a special throwback update as these litigants are back in Judge Mathis's courtroom. Plaintiff Leslie Saka first sued the defendant, her ex-husband, on Judge Mathis in 2002, and she hasn't seen him since. Leslie claims their son is with her in court today, and the defendant hasn't seen him since 2001. Leslie's suing her ex-husband for spousal support. Defendant William Saka says after his marriage to Leslie ended, she became a scorned woman. William says the reason he hasn't seen his son in 14 years is because he never reached out to William, and William doesn't believe their relationship is worth working on. All right, start with you. 
Well, good morning. Um, the defendant here is my ex-husband. Well, I haven't seen him uh, since I was last here on your show in 2002. What were you here for then? Well, for spousal support. And he had a new order since then? It's, it's a continuation of the last 21 months, which he's not paid one red dime. He hasn't even seen the kids since 2001. This is my son, William. He's a witness here. Okay, sir, let me hear from you. Yes, Your Honor. Leslie is a woman scorned. We have permanent injunctions against each other. I have lived up to the letter of that Why order. Why did you all have to get injunctions? What happened? The court order said because of the behavior of both parties. We each had her permanent injunction against you each do? other. Well, in my opinion, I didn't do anything. All right, what did the judge say you did? Or what did the judge conclude you did? Well, Your Honor, I was not aware of what the allegations were. That's not true. That's a <laughs> lie. All right, let me get back to you. Tell me about the spousal support. I'm not going to even talk to him. He coming here lying. Go ahead. You wanted to say something, yes, young sir. man? Come on up. State your name. My name is William A. Soccer II. This is my father. Unfortunately, I am ashamed of my name due to his alcoholism and his abuse. That's his problem then. Okay. He has beat my sister and myself and my mom when we were growing up numerous times. Um, I used to have people sleeping over, kids, you know, we were children. And then my mom come out the hallway screaming, my father chasing them. I have to try and get up in the way, stop them. Now eight, nine, 10 years old, getting thrown around by your neck, it's not fun. You have uh, chased your father out the house, chasing him with the baseball bat because he had just beat your mom. He's peeling out in a car, and you throw in Louisville Slugger, half a city block, hitting a car on the way out. Um, you keep him on the ground until the cops get there, your neighbors get there. You got beer bottles, wine bottles in the gutters behind air conditioners, everywhere hitting because he wants to be a drunk. Um, unfortunately, my mom is the one who taught me how to play sports and things like that because my father was never there, present. Yes, he did teach me other things, construction, things like that, but as a true father, he was not there. He was a true alcoholic. I've actually seen his mother, uh, my grandmother, and talked more to her in the past 14 years than I have my own father. And I truly don't think that's right. Did he ever go to treatment? I think he might have once. That, yeah. that goes forced on him. And forced on him. what do you attribute the lack of communication for 14 years to? Um, to personally do it, I'd say it's all in a family, past history. He did the best that he could from the way he was raised. Ma'am, you want to add to any of that? Well, well, as far as the abuse and everything goes, yeah, he was like that. And like in 2001, I was working and my son calls. He says, Ma, Dad took the car from your job to get his stuff and he'll pick you up at lunch. So lunchtime comes, I go to get in the car and he slams me, almost drops me out of the door of the car and we're fighting, the key breaks off in the ignition. We get home, back to the house. I go running in the house, and there's Andy. And I says, your father did it again. He put his hands on me. Well, no sooner my ex-husband goes and walks in the, in the door, my son picks, puts him on the ground. Yeah. You want to respond to this or not? Yes, Your Honor. There was no restraining order imposed by the court. The only thing imposed was the injunction against harassing through agents, communicating to third parties, that was it. No, right. the, the and other you still, And you still don't are, know why. Good enough. The spousal support, how does he owe you for that? Well, he paid me due to your court the first 12 months, so he owes me an additional 21 months at $250 a month. I know that comes to $5,250, but the limit here is $5,000. you have anything you want to show me? I do. I have a divorce decree that shows that it is, I am entitled mm -hmm. to it. Okay. And before we go through this, you heard what your son said. You don't want to respond to that? He says you haven't seen him in 14 years. Is that true? Do you want to comment on it or yes, not? Yes, Your Honor, mm -hmm. that, that is true. Uh, the reason why that we haven't been in contact is because he chose not to. <laughs> he chose not to? Yes. Mm -hmm. the, Did you reach out to him? Pardon me? Did you reach out to him? No. I did not. Because well, you reason, chose not well, to also. The, but, you made the same choice. Your Honor. So I say we chose not to reach out to each other or to see each other. Repeat after me. We. Uh, yeah, I know I, you're not going to say it. That, you think, you think everything Honor. is their fault. I see the deal here. Why but, didn't but, you reach out to him, sir, 14 years? Why didn't you be the bigger man, the father? Your Honor, they both painted a picture of me as a, as a terrible tyrant. Okay. You were. You were. Now... <laughs> You taught me good things, but you were their, tyrant. Their attitude towards me and was uh, the children, my, uh, okay. my daughters. Their attitude towards you caused you never to speak to them again. Got it. 
good enough. Never reach out to him. Never try to speak to him again. Got it. What do you say about this 5,000 in spousal support you are ordered to pay and you uh, have not paid in 21 months, as she alleges? Well, Your Honor, immediately after I got divorced, I lost my job. And the spousal support was based on my income at the time. I went to my attorney to try to get that amount changed, but she did not file a motion with the judge. Just man up. What'd you say? Just man, man up. up. Your son telling you to man up. <laughs> and, and you don't want to do anything to repair the relationship with your son, huh, sir? Well, at this point, he came in here and immediately launched into painting a picture of me. Of who you are. As an, as an, as an evil person. Okay. Uh, what is that to repair? You I weren't an alcoholic? Pardon me? You were not an alcoholic? Oh, yes. And you don't think as an alcoholic you were abusive towards your family? I'm not going to argue that point because that, that, that's That's a yes true. or no. Yes. You were. Huh? Yes. Well, then, he had a right to say what he said. You're saying, well, it's what they did to me. And I was abusive toward them, but they shouldn't be saying nothing. <laughs> I'm listening to you, son. He sounds open to resuming a relationship and trying to work the problem out. He said he did his best. You did some good things. You taught me some things, but you were abusive because of your alcoholism. You don't even have to rehash all the old stuff. Just start anew. But if he starts talking about it, you just got to listen. You got to take the medicine. Your Honor. They took the medicine every day of your abuse. Go ahead, sir. Last yeah. comments. Yes, I'd like to give an example of my son's effort to reach out to me. Mm -hmm. In August, I went to re-register, re-inspect my car at a shop in town that I'd go to for years. And as I paid the clerk, she started giggling. And she says, that's not your real email address, is it? I go, what do you mean? The email address that was Sir, put on I'm there. Sir, I'm going to stop you. Okay. Nobody's done anything to you but be fearful of you because you terrorized them when you were with them. And now you won't live up to the responsibility of the divorce and you don't want to reconcile with your son for whatever reason. $5,000 is your judgment, ma'am. You're Thank you. Your case. <laughs> You want to go give him? Yeah, I love you, man. <laughs> I love you, Dad. What do you think? Dude, this dude, that's, you taught me oh, so oh, much, Dad. God. Who the hell is, who the hell is so much? You have yeah, idea. the wrong ideas, I'm sure. No, you taught me construction, electronics, speakers, all the I just wish you were there. This entire thing was a setup in an ambush. It's a setup and an ambush. Uh, Why? We have a court order. You have your life. You've lived it. You screwed up everyone else's life. I'm glad you taught me things you've taught me.